By the end of this video, you will learn how to take any 3D character, rig it using a free tool called Mixamo, and then take animations for free as well, bring them to Unreal Engine file using an FBX import, and then populate your scene with the different animation sequences that you have, like this one. Check this out. Whoa. Let's go. What, what is, is up, beautiful, beautiful people? people? Oh back. my god, Farah, did you fart? What? Dude, it smells. No, I didn't. Dude, you did. No, I didn't. You stung the place up. No, I stung. it wasn't me. Then who is it? Robbie. No, it, it was Robbie. you. Sorry, was guys. Uh, maybe in 2025, we'll have some new sensors on the cameras. Now you guys can smell it. And it would have been horrible. It would be Farah's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we doing today? Chapter 13, importing character animation. So we are going to go download the character from Sketchfab, take it to Mixamo, get some animation, and bring everything in into our scene. So which character are we talking about? Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers. Let's go. It's time to fill up the scene with Stormtroopers. Let's but go. first, we have to go ahead and download it. Now, Farhad mentioned the name Mixamo, and if you guys have never done 3D before, you probably don't even know what that is. It's going to be a lifesaver. So let's check it out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Chrome. We've got so many windows down there. <laughs> I have to close my tabs. <laughs> okay. So first things first, go ahead and find your model. Whatever you want to download, you can. But again, we're going to recommend the one we're using because we've tested it and it works. Link in the description. This one is by Sanford Studio. Shout out to you guys for creating this dope model. And it says Stormtrooper UE4 rigged and game ready. So it's already rigged, but we're going to not use the rig so that we can teach you guys how to rig the character. And by rigging, we means adding in the armatures so that you can animate it. Okay, so this is the Stormtrooper. Looks pretty decent to us. We are going to this time around download it, but instead of GLB, we're going to go for FBX so that you guys see how that works. So go ahead and hit download. Now, once you download your character, you're going to have something like this. You're going to see the folder once you extract it. And then there's going to be a source, which is the FBX file. And then the textures are all going to be there. Perfect. Now, for this character to have animations, we need to either manually animate it. No. Are we going to do that? No. Absolutely not. No way. This course will take ages. Yes. So we're going to download animations from a free website called Mixamo, which Adobe bought a a couple of years ago, I assume. And left it there. Left it there, but it's still a really good resource, right? It's amazing. So what does it do? Well, first, you can go ahead and upload your own custom characters and automatically rig the body, which usually takes a long time, and then use some of their animations for free. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get some walking animations. We're going to get some idle animations and some idle holding rifles animations because later we're going to add rifles to the character too. So before we go ahead and show you guys our Stormtrooper and show you how we did this, the thing about the Stormtrooper character is that when you upload it, for some reason, I think because it's already rigged, it automatically is available for you to add animations. But usually that's not the point. You need to go ahead and tell Mixamo, hey, where are the hands, the arms, the groin, the face, so that it can place the bones in the correct place. Can we try that with a different character? So Absolutely. That Absolutely. That's what we're going to do. So just quickly, on the interface, on the top left, you've got characters. These are Mixamo's own characters that you can use for your animations. We're not going to do that. And then you've got animations, which are the animations, right, that you can download the motion, the mocap. So first things first, on the right side, we're going to go to Upload Character. And here we can select a file or drag a file. We're going to go to this one right here. This is just a basic white human mesh. And we're just showing you this so that you understand how you can place those markers on the character so that it works properly. So you're going to be prompted with this window and make sure your character is facing forward. If it's not, you can use these buttons. Once it's done, next, you just have to go ahead and say, okay, this is my chin. These are my wrists. You don't have to be exactly precise. As long as it's somewhere there, then it works. And then these are my knees. And then this is the groin. Okay, once you do this, you hit next. It's going to take a minute or two. And then you'll see that your character can move. If it's moving correctly, you're ready to apply animation to it. So we're going to skip to once this is ready. All right. So as you can see, the character is rigged correctly. It's moving its head is rotating correctly, its body is rotating correctly, its hips working fine. So this is perfect. Now we're going to switch to our Stormtrooper. So let's go ahead, upload character, and bring in our Stormtrooper right here. Drag it and drop it. And it should not prompt us to place those markers. It already knows where it is. So great. 
Now, while this is happening, Farhad, do you know who sponsored this episode? Polycam. So what is Polycam? A 3D scanning software on your iOS, Android, and web. So what can you do with it? You can take real-life object, scan it, and take it to your 3D software. Unreal, Blender, Houdini, whatever. Yes. Okay, we're done. Yes. Perfect. Our stormtrooper is moving correctly. Let's hit next. Next. So now, all we have to do is find the animation that we want. We can either search it or just click on any of these animations. Let's try this taunt just really quickly. So look at that. Oh, no, no, we don't. We, we, Stormtrooper will never do that. Yeah, Stormtroopers don't do that. I think for our scene, we need an idle animation for those who are standing. Absolutely. And we need a walking animation. So before we go ahead and take those animations, this is what we have to do. First things first, we're going to look for a T-pose animation. And I'll explain why really quickly. So T-pose. So when it comes to character rigging, this is the first one, T-pose. Every character is either going to be in the T-pose or A-pose, which is like this. And the reason why is because this is the best way, the most optimized way you can have a character when you're rigging it to make sure the character doesn't break. If the hands are like this and you're trying to put armatures and then you move it, it's going to break. So the best position, if you ever download a good character, it's going to be in T-pose or A-pose. And that's why what we're going to do is first bring in a T-pose character into Unreal Engine as our default. Why do we do that? Do you know why? No. Well, it's because in Unreal Engine, if we have five different animations, we don't want to go ahead and bring in five animations downloaded from Miximo with five different Stormtrooper body meshes. We can just take the T-pose as the base with the mesh, and in all the animations, we're not going to use the mesh anymore. We're just going to say, hey, give me the bone animation data, and I can just bring all of it and apply it to the first T-pose animation and the mesh that I have. Does Makes that make sense. sense? Yeah, yeah. And we'll so show you take guys the T-pose with the mesh. Yes. Take the rest of them, just the animation information. Absolutely. Let's do How do you take the animation? So first, the T-pose, we're going to hit download here, and then it's on FBX 30 with skin, none, Perfect. We're not going to change anything. And skin is basically talking about the mesh. So with skin is with the mesh. Without skin is without the mesh. So download this. Okay, we're going to download. And once it's done, let's go ahead and look for our other animation. It's done. Farhad, what is the other animation? Idle. Rifle. Idle. Okay, rifle idle. Okay, so maybe this one. Check this out. Yeah, this is good. This is really good, this right? Good. You can go ahead and play with the overdrive. That's a speed or character arm space. I'm happy with this, so we're going to keep it the same. Download. So now this time with no skin. No skin, okay. absolutely. So no skin. Download. And next, let's choose... Let's take another rifle idle so we have different I like permutation. That. I like that. Yeah, this is good. Do you think this is good? Yes. I think this is pretty good. All right, download. Okay, without skin. Great. Sure. One more. One more, more rifle, rifle idle. Okay. One more rifle idle. The first one on the left. It's not going to hurt. Uh, this one? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. This one or this one? Let me see. I just want to see them quickly. No, no, no. I agree with you. I like this one. This one's pretty good. Okay. We're going to go for download without skin. Okay. What is the other animation that we just want? Just a walking animation. Walking animation. Okay, cool. So we're we going to look Because we walking. want some of our stormtroopers to walk in the scene. Yes. Perfect. So... It should be walking. Which walking do you want? I think the second one on the right is good. This one? Yeah. The like badass. It's, nice. it's just yeah. like, okay, cool. Now, when you're going for walking animation, it's really important to go ahead and check in place. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why am I doing that? Well, let's go back to not in place. If you imagine us trying to animate this character, it snaps back to the origin position after like one second. And imagine trying to animate this, it's gonna keep snapping back. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and say in place, and instead we're going to animate the movement ourselves inside Unreal Engine. So this is a very important option that you have to select. Go to download, fired with skin or without skin? Without skin. Absolutely, without skin. You're learning well, Padawan. <laughs> You're not gonna kill me at the end, are you? I'm you should have killed the master at the end. Okay, so we've got the walking, the rifle idle, and the T-pose. Perfect. Now, let's hop back into Unreal. Hold up. Did you guys know you can speed up your workflow by using Polycam's photogrammetry instead of modeling and texturing? Yeah, you just snap a couple of photos, et voila. Plus, your objects will automatically look photorealistic because they're actually real. Shout out to Polycam for sponsoring this course and giving you guys 30% off the pro plan. Promo code and link in the description. Okay, so we're back in Unreal right now. We're going to go to our content drawer 
And we're going to create a new folder for stormtroopers. Stormtroopers. So, Farad, which one do we have to import first? T-Pose. That's right. So, T-Pose is the one that comes with the mesh, yes. right? So, we're going to get the T-Pose. You see, we already downloaded it five times. And the other one, 14 times. <laughs> Okay. That's how many times we, we remade this scene. Yeah. And right now with the FPX import, you can see that the options are different compared to yes. the GLB, right? So we're going to go to FPX. We're going to see that it says, okay, skeletal mesh, yes. Import mesh, yes. yes. And it's saying, do we want to put this on any current existing skeleton? No. We don't have any stormtrooper skeletons, so no. And import animations, we're going to hit yes because although it's not animating, but we want our T-pose to be counted as an animation, so we're just going to say yes, Okay. And everything else, we're going to leave as default. Import and import all. I've always wondered, what does it mean? Is it the same thing? Honestly, I've used both, and they both <laughs> work the same, but I like to say import all, okay? Import all, and you're going to see, I'm going to close this. Do you see now why I like GLB files? Yes. Because <laughs> the materials are there, but the textures are not, and we have to manually bring them, which is a pain. But it's okay. So we have the skeletal mesh, we have animation sequence, physical assets, and skeleton. Absolutely. So it's working perfectly fine. We can just go ahead and open it up. Our skeletal mesh is there. Our animation sequence has the T-pose. It's not moving, but we have it. So now we're going to close this, and now it's time to... Bring the rest. Bring the rest, absolutely. So now we can shift select the other four that we have downloaded, drag it, drop it into the content drawer. But this time around, look at this. By the way, it's already done it for us. I don't even know how, but I'm going to reset this so it's not... It is a animation without any when, without any mesh, so it knows it's just bones. So it's asking you, do you want to put this on any current existing skeleton? Yes, put a T pose. Absolutely. So what is the name of it? It's T pose five. Like the name of it is weird, but that's what we're looking for. T pose five skeleton. So you can do this with anything else, by the way. You're working with metahumans later on. It's the same concept, right? You want to take the animations from other 3D software and put it on a current existing skeleton. As long as the bone names match, it's going to work just fine. So everything else, I'm going to keep the same. I'm going to hit import all. And just like that, with magic, we now have control space, Ooh. all of the animation sequences. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Should Amazing. we open one of them? Let's try. All right, let's see. Yes. Boom. It is there. It's moving. Ooh. It's working. It's fantastic. And guess what? We can control this, right? We can go to skeletal mesh, look at the bones. I'm going to click the spine. I'm going to rotate the spine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that is... Uh, Darth Vader won't be happy. That is, that's wrong. That's really wrong. Uh, let me break my back. Okay, so nothing is going to happen because I'm not saving anything, by the way. Don't worry if I change it. Dude, anything. you have 51 unsaved files. Save it. Oh, you're right. Okay, okay. Oh my God, you didn't Imagine save if from it the crashed. spaceship. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I suck at it, okay? I suck at it. All right, we're going to go back to animation sequence. Check this out. Now, we can go ahead and quickly switch between the animation sequences. Here, we can go here to, to check what sort of animations we have. And this is absolutely perfect, isn't it? Yes. And how do we fix the texture? Because I don't want my stormtroopers to be blunt like this. I actually agree with you. I think we've got to fix it right now. So... Just to see the differences, let's go ahead and bring one of these uh, stormtroopers down here. So we can go ahead and directly bring in a skeletal mesh or an animation sequence. Okay, so let's do animation sequence yeah. for fun. All right, we're going to bring this guy, just have him be here. And although this looks pretty damn cool, we need to add textures. So how do we do it? First, import. let's go and import the textures, absolutely. So the file is going to be right here. So it should be here in textures. We're going to go ahead and drag and drop everything, put it in the same folder. Cool. Now, we have body, hands, helmet. Let's open up helmet. It has this white texture. We're going to delete it. And then just bring it to the side here. And we're going to go ahead and bring in anything with the word helmet into our material graph. So let's open this up. Do you see helmet? We have diffuse helmet. Yes. Diffuse helmet. So diffuse, another word for color, albedo, same thing. Hook this in. Let's see the difference. Apply. Boom. Yes. Good. Okay. What's Is next? Anything else? Diffuse helmet? Nothing else, right? No. That's it. Then we have hand material. Okay. So we're going to close. We're going to save this and then close it off. We're going to have hand material. Delete. Check this out. We have diffuse hands. Diffuse hands. You're absolutely right. Scroll down. See if we have any other. Hit apply. Boom. Save. We have the hands occlusion. Okay. 
Now, to be very honest with you, I was always thinking about this and thinking what this is, right? Remember we talked about the RGB? So if you disable the B and G and A, we have the R, which holds a black and white value. So this could be the roughness. I don't know. And then we go to green. There's this. I assume this is opacity. And then we have the blue, which also has another white and black variable. So I'm guessing these are probably your roughness and specular. And you can go ahead and test them out to see which one works for you. So hook up the red to the roughness and see the difference. So we can check it out right now, actually. Hit apply. Okay, see the difference. Or we can hook up the blue, which had the variables as well, and see the difference. Not so that much of a difference. Could be the specular. For now, we're going to leave it as is. We're not going to use it because it looks pretty damn good. We can go ahead and also, by the way, hit one and just control this. So ourself we can go to zero. And this is like super glossy. If that's your thing, you can go ahead and do that. We're just going to leave this as is because our stormtroopers look perfectly fine. And then we're going to go to the last one, which is body. Body material. It's the same thing. We're going to delete this and then we're going to look for diffuse, diffuse body. body. Clearly, we don't want to use anything else. We're just good with this. With diffuse and yeah, yeah, looks good. This looks perfectly fine. And this is exactly what we're going to go for. So this is how you bring in a character with an animation and fix the textures if it's an FBX file. So Farad, what do we have to do next? So I think we are done with this chapter. Are we done? Yes. So I can just bring these guys in here and just like stack yes. them. In the next chapter, we are going to teach you how you can clone this character and then finally populate our scene entirely. Dude, this is already looking yes. cool. Look at this, guys. Look at these guys. Ooh. Okay. Well, you guys have done really well until this point. Farad, I cannot wait to get yes. into the next one. We are almost there. We are almost reaching the wait, end of this tutorial We're going to be building the army after this? Yes. That's the next chapter. Let's go. Ciao. See you.